Happening now, hundreds of local firefighters, along with water dropping helicopters and planes, are preparing to head back to the front lines of the wildfire, which continues to burn in Fraser Park. Let's show you a map right now where the Grand Fire is burning this morning. We're going to bypass. There we go. Oh, <coughs> excuse me. There's the fire right there that we just uh, alluded to that's burning in the hills above Fraser Park. Uh, fire officials telling us it's burned 3,000 acres and just 10% contained. And 23 ABC's Lauren Titus is live at Fraser Mountain High School with the very latest. Lauren, what can you tell us this morning? Good morning, Mike and Aaron. Minute by minute, we are seeing more fire engines head up here to the command post that you see behind me over there at Fraser Mountain High School. Now, as the sun starts to come up, we're also getting a better picture. You can see the smoke lingering in the hills. And as we drove in earlier this morning, as it was still completely dark out, we could see the glow from this fire from miles away. Now, crews are getting their command posts and they're getting there to try to figure out what today has in store for them. This is new overnight video of the Grand Fire, which continues to burn this morning in the Fraser Park area. The fire broke out yesterday afternoon in the brush covered hills near Fraser Mountain Park Road and the I 5. It forced the sudden evacuation of Fraser Mountain High School, which will remain closed this morning. I was just happy to get out of school, but then I'm like, this is serious. Fraser Mountain High freshman Hunter Lanham was sitting in class when the first emergency announcement rang out over the loudspeakers. It was right after lunch. We were in sixth period and we got a call throughout all the classes. The fire had just kind of started growing, coming southbound up over the mountain. And on my way home, I realized it was looking like it was really close to my son's high school. Hundreds of firefighters will gather at the school early this morning to plan today's attack, which includes water dropping helicopters and airplanes. Officials say windy conditions are continuing to carry the fire wherever it pleases. And very gusty, windy conditions that are helping to push this fire in all directions. No homes or buildings have been lost to flames, but officials want residents to prepare for the worst. I was like, dang, I was like, geez, this is not good. Now, we just spoke with fire officials who say that within the next hour is when helicopters will launch again to fight this fire from the air. And at least 3,000 acres have already been scorched. And again, only 10% of the fire has been contained. Stay tuned as we continue to work to bring you more details on this fire. Reporting in Fraser Mountain Park, Lauren Titus, 23 ABC.